Hey guys, welcome back to Missing Out Mondays, where we tell you what we're into. Start your week off right. I'm Tari J. I am Lex Michael. Lex Michael, what is it that you are into this week? So, like a lot of folks, I picked up my copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 on Friday and have been... uh, I haven't poured too many hours into it yet. It's been kind of a busy weekend, but got to play a good chunk of the first, you know, couple hours of the game. I am fascinated with this thing almost as much as I'm fascinated by the wide range of reactions to it on social media as far as how, uh, as far as some people are concerned, over-involved the game is. They really, really went hard in the direction of grounded realism and detail fixation. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are having a hard time with it. It's, it's reading to them as uh, combined with really involved mechanics, a little bit clunky, not paced the way they necessarily want it to be, a little bit uh, uh, pedantic, a little bit you know over-involved, if you will. Uh, for some people, that those elements are their very favorite thing about it. Yeah. And it is definitely insanely packed with detail. I'm in I'm closer to the big old thumbs up camp than I am thumbs down. I definitely see so far what might be turning some people off about it, but I feel like it's it's if the experience you're looking for is not uh hyper 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 action oriented, if you can calibrate your mind properly, I think it works enough as just an immersive experience far more than it seems to be working as a story yeah. so far for sure but it's a gorgeous game to look at there is an insane amount of stuff going on there are elements that are uh okay for example there's a the uh, the honor system is a thing in this game right i was talking to you about this before we recorded today the uh the honor system is a thing i believe this was a thing in uh the first game as well but this is the first rockstar title that i've played rockstar of course the company behind uh, grand theft auto as well uh first rockstar title i've played that i didn't feel was incentivizing me to kill randomly in this game the the you know your crimes will be witnessed people will call the law people will hear your gunshots um your honor will go down and if your honor goes down far enough you develop a reputation right so like if your reputation is hyper negative you'll have bounty hunters coming after you you'll have the law looking to hunt you down on sight um but as as part of the realism as part of the immersion i mean this is the closest i think pr- presumably i'm ever going to get to knowing what it is to rob a train you know what i mean yeah like uh and and how the how the guns function right like every time you reload like you also have to cock your gun back um things like that that draw out the combat process Mm -hmm. bummer for some people i kind of like it for two reasons one yes it it furthers the immersion but also you're forced to be calculated in every move in a way that i've never felt i had to be in a rockstar game before yeah again for some for some that may lower the quote-unquote fun factor but i'm actually finding it so far incredibly engaging i do feel like i'm being asked to juggle a lot of stuff at once and there's some stuff that i wish was explained a little bit better in the game but i'm into it i keep jumping back from third uh, between third and first person as well because you play the entire game in first person if you want to Hmm. Uh, it makes for a very different experience i'm enjoying both experiences equally so i find myself even within uh you know minutes of each other jumping back and forth um it's a cool game i haven't gotten far enough into it to go yes i think this game is operating super functionally as a story yeah i kind of gather so far that it isn't and probably won't but if that doesn't bother you if you just want to get into it it feels like an old west simulator Mm -hmm. at times um it feels a little bit like they took the first red dead like they took the rockstar games template and also stripped elements from uh like witcher and also far cry and maybe this is why the for example like if you pick something up you actually stop and you pick up each thing individually if you want to say loot a body you actually have to pick the body up ruffle through it and it takes time so like a you have to make decisions about is it worth trying to loot this person right now while i might be getting shot at but also i think playing the far cry games sort of prepared me for every time i want to loot somebody i have to stop and like pat them down and whatnot yeah it's not that big a shift although i suppose if you went into this expecting something that played more closely to like gta 5 that might throw you yeah i i could see that right i guess i mean well yeah because like i feel like in in gta if, if a thing exists you just walk up and it's like press this button to do it and you're like all right cool now i have six guns great 
Right. Uh, I punch this person in the face and then I walk across the street and no one cares. Um, but this sounds like it's definitely more like I loot this body. It takes 30 seconds. Someone notices. They call the police. The police are after me now. And I have wanted posters of me. And now I have to like find a way it's, to. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a whole, not a whole 30 seconds, but it does take a couple of like two, three seconds to do it. But uh, what I think is, okay, this is a great, this is a moment that made me really happy and is also really frustrating. And I think that is kind of where people are at with this game so far. I needed to go do a mission and my horse wasn't around. So I walked up to another one of the horses in the town that I was in. And like, you know, you can kind of search their saddlebags and steal some stuff. But I took the horse Yeah. to go. Like I took, I took the horse like you take a car in GTA. And I guess somebody saw me take the horse and reported horse theft. And suddenly the law was after me and they, they came after me and shot me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that or stuff like I was wandering around a town and this was in the middle of a mission. I was on my way out of the town to go to where I had to go. Yeah. But uh, I came upon these two guys that were having this clandestine conversation between the two of them. And I walked up to them and I stood there and these two AI characters, like one of them turns to me and it's like, Hey, you know, something like get lost. What are you doing here? Get lost. And I didn't move. And he goes, yo, I said, get lost. Get out of here. There's going to be trouble, man. And I didn't move. Yeah. And then this AI, this non-playable character goes, all right, that, that does it. He starts shoving me. And then I, you know, shove him back. Then he pulls his gun on me and shoots me and I'm dead. <laughs> Mission failed. I mean, maybe you shouldn't have been eavesdropping. I guess, you know, you know? But, but like that level of immersion, that level of stuff going on in the world. Yeah. More stuff than is necessary by far. Right. But I find that really cool and there's this constant sense of even if the game doesn't have this crazy momentum there's so, so far at least there's a constant feeling of discovery for yeah. me that i'm really really enjoying i feel like i'll end up having a lot more to say about this game this thing is massive apparently the main campaign the story is 60 hours long jeez yeah so i'll be playing this for a good long good long minute okay but uh so far i absolutely get what is frustrating people I'm not having that hard a time with it myself. Okay. I mean, yeah, it sounds like you've already played games like it, so you know how how it works. Yes, I do get like the big, you know, big like AAA titles that have come out recently, stuff like Spider-Man, God of War, far greater sense of momentum, far less to kind of learn your way around. Yeah. It's all, you know, it's all kind of quick, 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 action, action, action. Um, this isn't that. No. It's definitely not that. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, I'm going to talk about my thing now. Um, my thing. Uh, Are you having a stroke? I, no, and I talk now. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, I actually, I just earlier this weekend, uh, started watching season three of Daredevil. I have um, no spoilers. I no, have not started no it yet. I hear it's great. Um, I've only watched the first episode. Okay. Um, and, like, the first episode is kind of a bottle episode, kind of gets you back into the, like, the world of Daredevil based on, like, where we left off. Um, and it's, it's really interesting. I, I, like, um, I like the direction that they're going. Uh, I like the, the way that the characters are interacting. Like, the because a few weeks ago I watched uh, Luke Cage. Um, and Luke Cage for me was a little hot and cold. Uh, I liked the character of Luke Cage, not was, wasn't a fan of like where they took him. Right. Um, and I feel like this season of Daredevil is kind of getting back to its roots and really like kind of, it, it took a, a step back from being like, all right, we're part of the, the Netflix universe and was like, Hey, like this is what made the first season successful. Right. Let's kind of dive back into that and the philosophy of like why Daredevil does Daredevil stuff. Yeah. Um, and I thought that that was really interesting. And that's kind of how the first episode gets you kick, kicked off. Cool. Um, so that's really like what I'm going to be spending the next week kind of like few episodes here, letting me digest them, few episodes there digest them because like the first season i watched all in one day and it was brutal just because like it's so much yeah it's so much um my my plan my plan is to start this week at some point and yeah. most likely binge but binge over the course of a couple of days right so uh maybe next week we'll be able to like chat about it together yeah like this week i've been trying to catch up on way 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 too much i've been trying to like all the cw dc shows are back so i've been trying to keep up with those as yeah. much as i can and stuff but i'm now i kind of like have 
a little bit more, a little bit more space. And I'll jump on that. Uh, I'll jump on that Daredevil. I may also jump on uh, season two of Iron Fist because I'm. I want to see. Like people are talking about how it is much improved from the first season. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, I mean, yeah, I uh, wasn't good enough to keep it from getting canceled. Am I right, guys? Ha 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 ha. I mean, just kidding. It's a. It's a. It's a big corporate ploy. Um. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. It's a big corporate ploy. Read your read the tabloids, baby. Read the trades, my dude. You'll know what's going down. Everyone knows. Everyone knows it's a ploy. Everyone knows. Um, so that's what I'm into this week. Um, guys, let us know what you're into. Yes. Uh hit us up uh at Missing Outcast, M-I-S-S-I-N-G, O-U-T-C-A-S-T on Twitter. Uh, and then you can also hit us up on the Missing Out hotline if you're like trying to go for a hands-free experience. Hit us up at nine seven eight Miss Out. That number again is nine seven eight Miss Out. Uh, leave us a voicemail with your name uh, if you want where you're from, uh, but also uh, let us know what you're into. Let us know if you have thoughts on anything we've covered in the last few weeks. Just uh, hit us up and. Leave us a short little voice message. We'll include it in the Missing Out Monday segment, uh, and you'll be part of the show, which we love. Um, Also, if you have a chance, go on to iTunes or Google Play Store or Podbean or Stitcher or iHeartRadio. Leave us a comment uh, uh, letting us know what you think of the show, and we'll read it here on this segment as well. So uh, many different ways to interact with us. Let us know what you're into or like what you like about what we're doing. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for you. Yes. <laughs> with cool. our ears. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow in which we'll be finishing out our hashtag witching out three week series with Hocus Pocus. Pox in the box. So uh, join us then. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Don't tell anyone I'm leaving. Lex is still here. Guys, everyone, Lex is still here. He's still here. D- d- you know, he he's definitely he definitely didn't walk out that door with both middle fingers up. He definitely didn't do that. He's he's still here. Oh, oh look, he has something to say. Hey, hey guys, it's me. Le- Lexation Michaels. Ooh, you didn't know my full name was Lexation, did you? Ooh, see, 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 I'm still here. Ooh, hey, guys. Ooh, okay, I guess I'll call it a day. That's it from me, Lexation Michio. That's actually how you pronounce my last name. Uh, so many things you're learning about me. All you had to do was listen. <laughs> Uh...